Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about business. And the topic is, what are you looking for in a business? What are you looking for in a business? Now, some of you may have heard about John Paul Getty, all right? John Paul Getty was one of the earliest billionaires in the United States. And he authored a book called How to Be Rich. And in the book, he listed down six things that you need to do to become successful in life. I'm going to run through quickly what are the six things. Number one, you must own your own business. Number two, provide more and better products and services. Number three, take risk number four run your own business number five guarantee your products and lastly number six build your success on the success of others so these are basically uh the six things that paul getty mentioned in the book i'm not going to go through all of this but the most important thing is that you must own your own business now let me go through with you uh what are the things that are required to make a good business decision? All right. And before I start, this is only my opinion. So take it with a pinch of salt. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Number one, low investment. This is very important. If you want to start a business, then you got to look for a business that requires low investment. Because when the investment is very high, like most conventional businesses out there, out there, but it's very risky and not a lot, a lot of people can afford it. Okay. Number two must be low overheads. These are the running expenses that you incur every single month. It must be low. If the expenses is very high, then you may run out of, you may run into cash flow problem. Number three, low or minimum risk. I know businesses involve risk, but you must choose a business that involves a low or minimum risk okay and one of the best business to go in that has got low and minimum risk is of course network marketing number four it must be a cash business all right if you don't have a cash business then you have a lot of problem with cash flows so you look for business that is based on cash all right then uh you have a good business number five no need for much experience now. A lot of businesses, you require qualification, you need experience, all right? But you've got to look for a business that do not need much experience. In fact, it should have a low learning curve, a low learning curve. Number six, low labor requirement. Now, if you look at all the financial statements of businesses there, one of the biggest expenses is related to labor, all right? So basically, you need to have labor requirement that is low. That means those expenses must be kept to a minimum. All right? If you want to find a good business. Number seven, income potential. This must be good income potential. That means there cannot be any ceiling or limit to the income that you can earn from the business. All right? If you have a limit, then it is difficult uh, uh, to, to operate. Number eight. Potential for growth, especially overseas, all right? You must have the uh, capacity to expand overseas if you want to without much uh, effort and expenses. Number nine, it must be a fun and satisfying business. Now, even if you earn a lot of money, if the business gives you a lot of strength and without fun, then it is not a good business, all right? You should look for a business that have a lot of a fun and is satisfying to you. And lastly, number 10, it must have passive and legacy income. Now, I know not a lot of business will have this, but you got to look for a business that have passive income. What it means here is that passive, when you stop working, the income can be uh, still generated without much action on your part. And legacy income is, of course, you can leave as a legacy to your family if anything should happen to you, okay? So that is what I want to share with you today. What makes uh, uh what's called what are you looking for in a business and again you know uh, i want to mention that this is uh, my my uh, opinion and let me summarize for you what are the 10 points i mentioned there low investment low overheads low or minimum risk cash business 
no need for much experience. Low labor requirement, income potential is very good. Potential for growth overseas, fun and satisfying. And lastly, it can generate you passive income and also legacy income. Okay, so that's all my sharing for today. I hope you learned something here. Today is, is already uh, Friday in Malaysia. I wish you a pleasant weekend. Uh, here is Richard Quack uh, wishing you good night. All right, and I will see you again next week for another session of my live video then. Bye-bye.